So, as I continue tonight, welcome again to Chris's Caribbean Delights. And to, um, tonight, I'm going to just bring to you a quick uh, banana, banana bread um, recipe. Um, I have some very ripe bananas, which I want to use up. So I'm going to just make a, a lovely uh, banana bread. And we just go to the ingredients for the banana bread uh, recipe. So meet me over there. Okay, guys, here are the ingredients that we need for uh, our quick banana, our banana bread. Um, first of all, I have here, I have three bananas that I crushed and I crushed them and I added one teaspoon of vanilla and one teaspoon of rose water. Rose water enhances the um, the flavors and it gives it that aroma that you 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 just want to know you know what is in there um it's just like a, a little a little trick that i have that i usually use uh, i add rose water to certain baked goods now there we have two cups of flour we have one tablespoon of uh of whole milk and a teaspoon of salt that would enhance everything and bring everything together baking soda one teaspoon of baking soda one teaspoon of baking powder i have a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and a half a teaspoon of mixed spice and i have one teaspoon of cinnamon there then i have one cup of flour and two eggs so now we'll move to the stand mixer and i forgot the butter i have one stick of butter softened not softened but at room temperature one stick of butter at room temperature now we're going to move to the stand mixer and we're going to cream our sugar and and butter until it's nice and light and fluffy so let's get to that step okay so i'm in the stand mixer i'm going to add my uh one stick of softened butter and one cup of granulated sugar and we're going to bring this down Oops, let's make sure it's locked and starting slowly we're going to grind we're going to we're going to mix this uh starting slowly we're going to mix it until it's light and fluffy so whilst our butter and sugar are creaming to that fluffy consistency we're going to mix our dry ingredients together the two cups of flour put those put that in a bowl one teaspoon of baking soda the baking powder the baking soda and the baking powder and we can also add our um, our seasonings on um, our spices cinnamon I put my cinnamon in there and I put my nutmeg in there and okay so this we'll just take a fork we we'll just take a fork and just uh, make sure everything everything incorporates and just you know it's well mixed okay now for the drying for the red ingredients which is the banana okay oh, just put my salt in there also into the flour mixture that's all dry and um, we add the milk into the banana it's very little it's very uh, small um, amount of milk because well you have the eggs that you're going to be adding and you also have then the ban but the banana is um kind of is very moist and then i have some uh the cinnamon and the um the, not the cinnamon the the vanilla and the rose water that's in here also 
So right now, this is this is very fragrant. Oh, it smells wonderful. So we're waiting for for the butter and the sugar to get to a fluffy consistency, and then we'll start incorporating the other ingredients. We'll add our eggs to the butter and sugar to the butter and the sugar mixture. So we'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, so I've added my eggs one at a time and I let that work for a while and then I've added the banana mixture I've also added the banana mixture so that's working for a while and I'm, I'm, I'm going to add the dry ingredients um, as once this has worked at least get it all mixed and incorporated and I'll start adding a small amount of the um, dry mixture This will bring it all together. Small amounts at a time. Let it all work in there. Just keep it moving. On the other side, I have some peanuts. I don't have any pecans or walnuts, so I'm just going to use some peanuts. I'm going to crush them uh, in the food processor and just let them uh, just sap them. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, because um, this is what I need. I mean, I don't need to see the whole nuts or anything or any chunks of nuts. I just wanted, you know, that mild, nutty uh, consistency, that mild, nutty flavor. And just make sure you um, prepare your, your loaf pan, your loaf pan and uh, and turn your oven on, preheat the oven to 350 and have your loaf pan already uh, prepared. So we'll be back. As we, once we still have this moving, I'll just add the peanuts, the ground peanuts in there and let that mix for a little bit. Get it all incorporated. And our batter is ready to be poured into the pan. All right, so we we'll pour and we we'll place in the oven 350 for approximately 50 minutes to an hour. 